What's going on everyone? Happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and testing negative for all these viruses making people sick right now. It is time now for the Tuesday edition of the Virus Update for Tuesday, December 23rd, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. A ton of people are sick right now, and you need to be informed of what's going on with these viruses. Hey, I watched the national news over the past couple of days. They're not saying much of anything about what's going on with these viruses. That's where I come into play. Want to stay informed? Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. All right. Today we are going to be talking a lot about flu. Not going to be a long video, but the big point is going to be really how fast the flu is spreading right now. And of course, COVID's out there as well and other viruses, but flu is just really out of control at this point. We're starting off here with something we don't start off with, and that is epidemic status from the CDC. This is the epidemic status map for flu in the United States. Take a look here. It is growing in literally the entire United States, with exceptions to one small area, Hawaii. Please, don't uh, get yourself fixed. Oh, well, it's not bad in Hawaii. Uh, yeah, the lower 48, it's bad everywhere. Alaska, it's bad everywhere. And now I want to show you this. This just came in today. This is from Walgreens. This is their Acute Respiratory Illness Index. Yeah, you're seeing a lot more color on this map. Uh, Christmas red. Maybe Christmas orange, although orange is not really Christmas. You get the point here. It's getting bright. It's getting colorful. And bright red and orange colors, they're not a good thing. They're things we don't want to see. And basically what they do here is the acute respiratory index is based on people testing positive for flu. A, flu B, or COVID. And the national overall score is now 7.15. Yes, this is getting very high. This is getting serious. There are many states now, such as Colorado, Connecticut, Hawaii on this map. Hey, that's different than what we saw over there on the CDC page. Idaho, Illinois, Louisiana, Minnesota, New York, Utah, Puerto Rico, all at 10. That's the highest number this index goes to. Then there are many places that are not far off from 10. District of Columbia, 9.91. Rhode Island, 9.90. New Jersey, 9.67. Florida, 9.50. Floor. Uh, Georgia's high. Arkansas, Maryland. You get the points here. It's getting really serious. But we can take this one step further and show you something else. Are people actually buying cold and flu medicines? Well, let's see. They have a score for that on a scale of 1 to 10 in the state of Florida. 9.54 is the number that comes up there how about new york state we've been watching that high look at that wow cold and flu sales score 10 yes it comes up as a 10 there let's go back to a florida for a second actually made a mistake 9.54 is the sale is the score for uh flu and then COVID is 0 0.7 cold and flu sales scores only 3.68 but again uh your flu score is near 10, so that's really bad. So apologies on getting that wrong. But take a look at this. In Louisiana, cold and flu sales score. It's the number down here. 6.03. That's starting to get up there. How about what's going on in Illinois? Let's see. That's 6.14. Then we come out to the West Coast. It's still not as bad on the West Coast, but you're starting to catch up. Christmas is just... Uh, what are we at? Tuesday, then comes Wednesday, which is Christmas Eve. People will gather on Christmas Eve, and then they will gather on Christmas Day. Cold and flu sales score there is 3.37, but the overall score is 4.65 for everything. Uh, Idaho, look at this. Uh, 10. That's as high as it goes when it comes to the flu score. COVID's still low there. That That's good, but it's flu that is ruling the roost right now. Uh, on and on we could go with this. You get the idea. All right, we do have to get to just two news stories today. I didn't do a lot of research. Didn't really have time. We're a couple days before Christmas. Six new measles cases reported in a Utah county. So that outbreak you, uh, in Utah continues to grow. They've seen 125 measles cases this year 
You know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we're going to continue to see high measles cases again next year. It's already much, pretty much guaranteed the start of next year is going to have high measles cases because we're ending this year with high measles cases. How long that'll last in the next year, I honestly don't know. All right, this was interesting from Dennis the COVID Info Guy. A large Korean study using national insurance data looked at over 15 million COVID and flu cases from July of 2022 to December of 2023. Very important to note, many of the studies we get come from many COVID variants ago. So back at that point in time, we were dealing with a different COVID variant. Among hospitalized patients, COVID was linked to a 76% higher odds of death within 30 days than influenza. Again, COVID within 30 days of the case was linked to 76% higher odds of death than within 30 days of an influenza case. That's really interesting. It just goes to show you COVID can be so much more serious than flu. But nonetheless, right now, flu is really bad. And I think eventually we're going to get some studies that show who knows what we're going to find about this new strain of flu. I don't know. It's, it surely is infecting a lot of people right now. Take a look at this. In Canada, moderate for COVID-19 in the wastewater. Flu A, high there. I'm telling you, flu is such a big deal right now. Flu B is low. RSV is moderate. Will COVID-19 and some of the other ones get to high there? It's it's very possible that that does happen. All right. UK day is usually Thursday. I don't know when the next day is we're going to have the UK. I'm mentioning that because, well, it does come up as the next tab here. And on the most recent update, COVID was at a turning point. It was going to start going up. So, again, I don't know when the next update is going to be. Uh, Friday is called Boxing Day there, I believe. So I don't know if they're going to update for that. Will they update a day early this week? I don't know. Will it be Monday of next week? We'll just have to wait and see. I'll keep refreshing it each day. All right. Let's take a look at what's going on with the air qualities in the United States, which have been problematic in some places. While we're waiting for that to load, let's pause and take a hydration break, shall we? Water is the drink of choice for today. Now, I got to tell you something. The next couple of days, this map is going to world look. Worse than usual. Now, we're not going to see this map tomorrow. Why? We're doing Out in the Wild update tomorrow. You will see this map on Christmas Day. At least I think you will. There will be a Christmas Day virus update. It may be, Maybe that update will look a little different considering it's Christmas. But uh, a lot of people tend to use their fireplaces on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We have a fireplace. We'll probably use it. And for those who know I have asthma, I generally do not have problems from the fireplace Generally speaking, well, who knows? Uh, you, you never know when asthma is going to come and cause you problems. But uh, I think we're going to see this map fill in. You see a little bit of gap here across some of the Rocky Mountains. I think even that is going to look more yellows, oranges, maybe some more reds. We're already seeing increased bad air qualities in the east and bad air qualities on the west. Uh, the west has been dealing with problems for many, many weeks. So, yes, the next several days, people will be using their fireplaces more. We'll be using ours on Christmas Day, not tomorrow, because we're going to a relative's house. I'll explain about that during tomorrow's Out in the Wild update. All right, I have to show you these EMS calls. Uh, it's not good. It's it's bad. Look at Florida. We can see here, this is Pinellas County, Florida. And we can see here, ambulances waiting at the hospital. We see chest pains, uh, cardiac arrest, choking, sick person. That's the one we look out for at this time of year, sick person. Although in Florida, we look out for that more in the summertime because they get hit harder when it comes to COVID in the summertime. Taking a look at the hospitals in Maryland, and uh, Maryland, as you know lately, has been trending in the wrong direction. Today, slightly better. There are some fours there, but hey, not as bad as last week. Let's hope it can stay that way. Let's see what has been going on in Philadelphia over the last 24 hours, if they posted their update. Yes, on Monday, 825 EMS incidents. That's not good. And did they post a number for Sunday? You know, I'm not seeing a number for Sunday. Okay. There was just no number for Sunday. Taking a live look at what's going on in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania shows there are several calls right now. In fact, up to 20 calls. And we do see respiratory emergency, cardiac emergency. Am I seeing any cardiac arrest? Not at the moment. Earlier I was. Chester County, what's going on there? We do see cardiac arrest going on in East Whiteland Township of that county. Respiratory difficulty. There is a stroke. Uh, Bucks County, I was looking at this this morning. There were 13 calls at that time. 
hopefully this has gotten better. Uh, well, still 12, and we do see a lot of calls going on there. Uh, we do not see respiratory, yes, there is respiratory distress. That's one I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of here in Pennsylvania. Why? Well, I'm leading up to something. Uh, take a look at this. Here's the hospital situation in Pennsylvania again. I think a lot of these hospitals are not updating. This has clearly got to be wrong at this point. Come on, Lehigh Valley's not dealing with problems. There's no problems over in the Susquehanna Valley and South Central Pennsylvania, uh, Western Pennsylvania. Yeah, this has got to be wrong. Why does that have to be wrong? Take a look at this. This is the flu update for Pennsylvania. Look at this chart. Now, if this was the stock market, and this was a stock you owned, Going up like that, you'd be like, oh boy, but I, I hit a good one. Let's sell and I've done well. This is not a stock. You're not making money off of this. This is flu A, influenza A in Pennsylvania. Let's look at the previous week's number. You know, last week when we showed us there were 4,294 new cases reported in Pennsylvania of flu A. RSV was 643. Again, here's this week. 8,518 cases reported in Pennsylvania. And mind you, the majority of people do not test for flu. I mean, prior to COVID, how many people went out and got tested for flu? Not many. And then now we have these guys, the three and one test. If you can see that flu A, flu B, three and one. A lot of people go that route. So we're just only scratching the surface and they still found, they're still reported, I should say, not found, reported 8,000 518 flu A cases in Pennsylvania. My friends, that is really bad. That's not good. This is a bad sign, and we're still going up at this point. Let's go to the cover page. Let's read some of this data. Influenza trends increasing rapidly. RSV increasing rapidly. COVID-19 increasing rapidly. I've never seen all three of these listed as increasing rapidly before. I don't know last year if they were uh, putting the rate of increase on here. I don't recall. Uh, so far this season in Pennsylvania, 20,881 laboratory confirmed influenza cases have been reported season to date from the end of September up to the 20th of December. For the week ending on 12-20, the percent of emergency department visits with influenza diagnosis is no, not low anymore or very low. It is now moderate for all ages statewide. Again, I think the hospitals are having a rough go of it. For the week ending on 12-13, 2025, there were 552 new adult admissions. Mind you, that is like data. So you just saw what the cases did a week later after that. So this number is going to continue to quickly go up. Uh, 552 new adult admissions and 142 pediatric hospital admissions. So far this season, 2,141 adult and 402 pediatric admissions have been reported. 22 flu-related deaths have been reported in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's a, uh, there we go. Suddenly we're seeing uh, flu deaths quickly starting to go up. It's not good. RSV, take a look at this. 3,293 laboratory confirmed cases this season. And for the week ending on 12-20, low emergency department visits, there were 115 new adult hospital admissions and 114 new pediatric hospital admissions. 517 adult and 420 pediatric emissions have been reported season to date. Take a look at this. COVID-19 here in my state is increasing rapidly. There were 382 new adult emissions, 30 uh, new pediatric hospital emissions season to date, 3,141 adult and 259 pediatric emissions. 145 COVID-19 related deaths have been reported in PA residents by the National Centers for Health Statistics for the 2025-2026 season. COVID is clearly a more deadly virus. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at New Jersey hospital situation and see what's going on there. We do have a specialty issue at Inspire Center Mannington, and that's it for New Jersey. Taking a look at COVID cases in New York, 507 new cases were reported on yesterday's update. Today's is not in yet. And now let's take a look at what's going on at some wastewater sites. And considering we just spend so much time on my state, let's head west. And, uh, well, this is the flu map for the entire United States. I should tell you that. It's high in every region of the United States. Let's see what's going on in California. Let's take a look at San Francisco, California. And we can see COVID is medium. RSV is high. That's going up quick. 
Influence A is high and going up quick, and HMPV is high, EVD68 is high, Norvars. Wow, a lot of problems at this wastewater site. Yikes, that's not good. Let's take a look at the other wastewater site there, and we can see RSV, Influence A, HMPV, EVD68, and Norvars. All listed at high at this time, and let's go south. Do we have, no, we don't have San Diego data. Take a look at what's going on down in uh, Los Angeles. We do see LA. This is one wastewater site that is medium for influenza, and that is going up slightly. Everything else aside from EVD68 seems to be fine at that wastewater site. Let's go a little bit more east. Uh, let's see, maybe Christmas is taking you to Las Vegas this year. Is it? I don't know. Let's see what's going on there. High for influenza A. COVID is low at this time. And Norvirus is now back to low at this wastewater site. Um, let's continue. How about we go to Colorado, shall we? And we can go here to North Parker, Colorado. What is going on there? We do see COVID is low. We do know influenza A has a very high positivity rate in Colorado. I can actually show that to you, can I? Well, I think I have that uh, queued up here. I don't know. Did this update? I don't think it did. 23.04% positivity rate for influenza in Colorado at this time. Yeah, that's not good. Norovirus is also high at this time in that area. We need to see that come down. It's come down a little bit, but not enough. All right, let's see what's going on in Nebraska. How about we go to Lincoln, Nebraska, and see what's going on there. COVID at this wastewater site is listed at high. Influenza, like everywhere else, is listed high at this time. Norvirus is also listed at high at this wastewater site. Let's do one more wastewater site somewhere else. Let's just uh, be very spontaneous. Let's go to Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Haven't looked there in a while, have we? And whoa. Okay, we're not seeing this in a lot of wastewater sites, but this one we are. SARS-CoV-2, covid is rapidly rising at this wastewater site. Hopefully that gets corrected. That's not good. And it is listed at high. Uh, influenza A is also listed at high. Medium for norovirus at this time. Everything else at this time is doing okay. Alrighty, folks. That does it for the Tuesday edition of the Virus Update. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Leave your comments down below. Ways to support the channel are listed down below. Again, uh, let's go back to this. Just please be very safe all across the United States. Things are trending in the wrong direction for flu. Yes, in some areas, as you saw, Chattanooga, COVID is getting really bad, but flu right now is ruling the roost. Uh, I know people, I have family members, not here, immediate family members, but I have extended family that currently have the flu, and it's no joke this year. It is really bad. Uh, it's just spreading like a wildfire. Alrighty, folks, I will see you again tomorrow for an Out in the Wild edition of the Virus Update. Until I see you again tomorrow, stay safe and have a fantastic Tuesday afternoon. Thanks for watching.